Hello and welcome or welcome back to Megan TT Hobbies. Decided to flip the camera around because I've got some stacks of cards to share with you that are signed. That is quite a big stack, but we are going to start first with a couple of TTMs, but they're kind of an odd category. Um, but some of the guys for the Puria set had obviously been promoted up or down by the time it finally came out this summer. So I had to figure out who was on what team. And then I reached out to them uh, on social media and, and said, hey, I've got your cards. Will you go ahead and sign these for me? So these are these. These are those returns. I did some customs for Jacob. I think it's like Schlesner, because he did spend part of the season with Peoria, and so I had made these customs for him, and then I sent him some copies as well. These are signed in blue, because I was sending the set cards like these, and I've got four of them. So it's one for my set. I did a set for Chase over at Chase and Ink, and then kind of did a set um, for each of our new boys. So that is also from Jacob. But anyways, what I was saying is I sent the blue Sharpie and put it in like a bubble mailer and stuff and just said, hey, keep it for you to sign my cards with and sign others. I'm normally not that picky, but for this set, I really wanted them all signed in blue. Another guy that I reached out to. So Jacob ended with State College, so I had to send that there to him. But that's the uh, 91 Puria Chiefs cards. Um, the next one I sent out to Zach Jackson. He started with Puria because one of the Puria catchers was in Palm Beach while some of the Palm Beach guys were hurt. And so Zach got a card in the Peoria set. Again, he signed the four, one for myself, one for the set that I'm trading to Chase, and then a couple extras for the, uh, the set that I'm trying to do for the boys. When it's all said and done, there will only be a few of these that are not signed. Um, Nolan Gorman is one of them, but when he gets to Springfield, I'm sure I'll be able to uh, get him or if I go back down for spring training or something. But the cool part was... Zach was super duper nice and had some of the other guys sign them. So I think it's John, even though it's spelled weird, Torres. And hey, at least he has a signature now. He used to like just do a scribble. Um, so we've got that. These unfortunately smudged, but they still look pretty good. And then a nice one. So like... These two nice ones will be for my set and Chase's set. I don't know if I'll erase that and try again when he comes up or just keep it as it is. But so Zach gave the cards to these guys and had them sign them. Um, so super nice of him to do that. And uh, so these guys were all in Johnson City. Malcolm Nunez. I think this kid is going to be really great in the Cardinals organization, but he did the four as well. Um, so some baseball players are super nice like this. Um, I really appreciated Zach going out of his way and having a couple of the other guys sign. So let's get these out of the way. So those were TTM successes, but I kind of wanted to feature them in this video. Um, these next ones are like 50-50s or returns from other collectors. I got a nice little stack coming back of Corey Howell. These are coming back from a buddy of mine that graphs the uh, Timber Rattlers, Adam Hill. So I sent some extras because like... These are both the same card. Well, I like this signature better than this one, but maybe somebody that needs this one for the Bowman draft set 
will trade me for something that I don't have. So that's why I sent some extras. He also was super nice and got some of the All-Star cards signed for Wisconsin. For guys that were still there. And then a few Justin Jarvis. So thanks to my buddy for and fellow autograph collector for getting those signed. The only thing he was not able to get me was um, photos signed of Ethan Small, who was a high draft pick and has been personalizing everything. Um, and so he's not the easiest to get. And I know my friend was getting other autographs at that game as well. And I mean, I sent him like the last week of the Midwest League season. So I have more returns coming in. I'm trying to sort them by player. And I think I've got it. Um, a fellow uh, Midwest League grapher. A lot of these have all come back because I'm getting a lot of my returns back. So this is another one. And then I've still got a few more um, coming. But he got a couple of Cole Rotors for me on paper. And then Brendan Davis from the uh, when South Bend came to visit. Because I think he graphs... I think it's Lake County over in Ohio. But the cool part was the number of Cleveland Indians prospects he was able to get. And I mean, I loaded him up and he did, he did quite well. So, Raniel Delgado on a bunch of paper. Again, these are to keep, you know, the, the nicest one for my set. And then these can be um, traded for other things. From this set since it is a set that I'm working on where we might have seen them a lot in the Midwest League but I don't know somebody that's out west or something hasn't hasn't seen them yet so they might need it for their set also on the chrome and then also on two of the refractor chromes but again these are coming back from just a a fellow autograph collector I forget if we 50 50 them or he just. And then he. Or he just was helping me out. Another one, Corey Holland. A lot of folks were out towards the end of the season of cards, so they would just take some of your stuff and help you out. Very nice signature. Again, if you're working on this set, need something. Let me know. And on the chrome and the chrome refractor, once all these roll in, I've got another big return that I had come back recently that I'll need to do a video on. And then I have another one that's coming back this week. Once all those updates occur, I'll probably do a 2018 Bowman draft set update. Brian loves. Again, I just had four papers, so I'll keep the, the best one, and then if anybody wants them, I will trade only within this set of things that I need. And then on a couple of chromes, because I'm doing it as a chrome version two, then I just put in some refractors. This next one I'm excited about because this kid has a lot of cards out there. Ethan Hankins, he signed, there's the Refractor, there's the recommend, Recommended Viewing, so it would be nice to have Jackson sign that and finish that one off, and then three nice signatures on the paper. And I just happened to have some of 2019 Bowman and this kid was in it. So on the Chrome and on the regular paper version and the other one that I'm very excited for since I'm working on this set. 
a USA card. So that is 10 minutes worth of some returns from fellow collectors. I mean, look at that stack of cards. Awesome for the set. And then some of my Peoria Chiefs guys that got back to me. I still have some of the Peoria Chiefs cards to come back. Hopefully they do soon. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go work on some more videos here. Let me know um, if you are working on any particular set. I'm working on finishing that Peoria one and then finishing or making some progress on Bowman Draft 2018. That's all for now. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.